WJTS News. Thank you so much for tuning in this evening. I'm Caitlin Nykam reporting. We start our newscast off by updating you on the structure fire that we initially presented yesterday. A structure fire occurred at approximately 10.20 p.m. Monday night east of St. Anthony on Highway 64 at 5345 Indiana 64. According to the St. Anthony Volunteer Fire Department Chief Scott Ubalor, the fire appears to have started in the kitchen area of a structure used for processing deer. The fire is thought to have burned for about an hour or so and then witnessed and called in by a car passing by. 26 firemen in total were on the scene and three fire trucks. The St. Anthony Volunteer Fire Department was assisted by the Schnellville Volunteer Fire Department. It has been ruled at this time an accidental fire. The Kicks for Kids program has kicked off this week. Starting today, well over 1,000 Dubois County kids in grades pre-K through fifth grade will receive a brand new pair of shoes just in time for Christmas with this Kicks for Kids program. The Optimus Club of Jasper, Rally Point Events, and Shoe Sensation have teamed up locally using the proceeds of the RWB Music Fest, held back in August in Jasper, to provide the shoes. All students pre-K through fifth grade on the free and reduced lunch program were eligible and a form was sent home with those students for their parents to sign. Rally Point Events President Lance Yearby explains why this program was chosen. We started this program, Kicks for Kids, as a way to give back to our local youth. We saw a need through Rally Point, and through this program now, with Jasper included, we'll have 10,000 kids this year. So the program itself speaks volumes for uh, its mission and its growth. Speaking on that growth, Lance and his organization have some big goals for the future. We would like to eventually do 20 to 30,000 kids over the next two to three years. And we continue to grow our events throughout Dubois County, throughout um, southern Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, and so on and so forth. And that's only possible through um, people like our sponsors along with our ticket buyers. So every ticket you buy essentially is a, is a pair of shoes for a child in need. Shoe distribution begins today with Ireland and Holland Elementary Schools, Wednesday at Northeast Dubois and Huntingburg Elementary Schools, Thursday at Jasper and Pine Ridge Elementary Schools, and concludes on Friday at Ferdinand Elementary. U.S. Senator Mike Braun has formally announced his bid for governor of Indiana in 2024. Braun has been U.S. Senator since 2019 and was a member of the Indiana House of Representatives from the 63rd District from 2014 to 2017. Indiana Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch joined Braun in the race for governor in 2024 as well. Governor Eric Holcomb cannot seek another term due to term limits. Crouch has been Lieutenant Governor since 2017. Indiana education is changing for the progress of students. Passed in 2021, the House Enrolled Act 1514 required state boards of education to develop and provide school performance dashboards. The Indiana State Board of Education released its Indiana Graduates Prepared to Succeed dashboard, Indiana GPS for short, more than 18 months before the, the required July 2024 deadline. Indiana GPS aims to enhance student preparedness by implementing a comprehensive, transparent guide for the K-12 continuum. The dashboard focuses on key indicators of success for knowledge and skill development across all grade levels. All data collected by the program best indicates five characteristics of successful students post-graduation. Academic mastery, career and post-secondary readiness, credentials and experiences, communication and collaboration, work ethic, and civic, financial, and digital literacy are benchmarks for the program. This data in one easily accessible location empowers students and families to make informed decisions and continuously improve. The Indiana State Department of Education will continue to update the dashboard so it best reflects the progress of Indiana students. Oh, Tannenbaum season is still strong here in Jasper, Indiana. Here's some upcoming events to look forward to. Santa Claus will be in his holiday house on the Jasper Square this Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 3 p.m. each day. Bring the kids out to tell Santa their Christmas wishes and get some cute photos along the way. Top Knot Beauty Studio right off the square will be hosting a cookies and hot chocolate day on Saturday, December 17th. Enjoy $15 dry hair trims and $10 holiday hair tinsel with your sweets. 
The Astro Theater will be hosting a showing of the hit movie Christmas Vacation on Saturday the 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And there will be an ugly Christmas sweater painting class from 12.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. on Sunday, December 18th. The cost is $10 per child. Call 812-482-6866 to, re to reserve materials. This open house class event will be held in the Wood Capitol Building on the Square in Jasper. For more details on all of the aforementioned events, visit jasperin.org. Stay tuned here to 18WJTS as we will take a quick look at weather after the break.